Hi, Matthew Cratter here from Trader University. And today I want to answer a very common question that I get a lot. And that question is, how do I know when it's safe to buy a stock for a quick bounce? So let's say that you have a stock that has been going down for a few weeks or a few months. And you think uh, that the sell-off is overdone and you'd like to buy it for a quick trade. So how do you know when to enter? Well, there are just two rules that you need to remember. These rules are, uh, the stock needs to be oversold, and the stock needs to have bearish sentiment. And we're going to go over in some detail what these rules mean. So number one, the stock needs to be oversold. How, do, how exactly do we measure uh, what an oversold stock is or how, how it's oversold? What we do is, um, this is one rule of thumb, we say that the stock needs to close at least once below the lower Bollinger Band. So we'll see this chart here. This is a chart of Alibaba. The ticker is BABA. And you can see here uh, the red and uh, green candlesticks are the stock price. And then you have Bollinger Bands, which are up here and up here. Uh, they're set at two standard deviations away from the moving average. And uh, I like to set the period here to 80 days. So you can see here the settings. This is on uh, tradingview.com. The settings are 80 daily close, and two standard deviations. You can see here that Alibaba has been closing below the lower band a few times in the past few months. This was um, at the end of 2015, or late summer 2015. So if a stock closes below the lower ba Bollinger Band, we're going to say that it's oversold. So then the question is, is it time to buy yet right here? Uh, and that's the answer would be no, not until the second rule is met. And the second rule says, as we saw, that the stock also needs to have bearish sentiment surrounding it. And this means that the majority of traders need to be bearish on the stock. In other words, they actually need to hate the stock. Now, sometimes my students will ask me, why, why would I want to buy a stock that everyone hates? Shouldn't I be buying a stock that everyone loves? Well, if everyone hates a stock, that means that they've already sold it. And if everyone who wanted to get, get out of the stock has already gotten out, that means that the stock will probably not move much lower in the near future because everyone who wanted to sell has already sold. And that means that the stock has only one direction that it can move, and that is up, which is exactly what we want. Now, there are lots of ways to measure trader sentiment on a stock. And in this video, we're going to cover just one way, and that is to take a look at the front cover of a major stock market publication like uh, Bloomberg Businessweek, or Barron's, or Forbes, something like that. And I especially like um, I especially like Barron's because it's famous for having covers that tell you to do the exact opposite of what you really should be doing. So here, for example, is a cover from September 24th, 2012, that told you that Facebook, at the time Facebook was trading around 20, 21, uh, I guess it says 23, and it told you that Facebook was gonna go to 15. And instead, as we know, Facebook, instead of going from 20 to 15, it went from 20 to 120. So that's, uh, that's sort of the magazine indica indicator as a way of measuring uh, investor and trader bearishness surrounding a stock. Um, so let's get back to Alibaba. We saw the chart here. Um, now, it turns out there was also a Barron's cover on Alibaba, which showed up, on, it showed up in everyone's mailboxes and inboxes on September 11th which was a Saturday. That's when Barron's is usually, usually arrives. Now, um, and again, it's a very bearish cover why Alibaba could fall 50% further. So if we look at September 11th, let's see, September 11th is right, right here. Uh, this is the day before the magazine came out and the stock closed at 64.63. Um, the magazine came out on Saturday, and then when the stocks opened again, when Alibaba opened back up on Monday, it immediately fell and closed at um, closed at uh, 62.60. Now you could have bought the stock on this day, and you would have been fine, as we'll see. Uh, especially especially since the stock was oversold and trading below the lower Bollinger Band. However, for this this magazine indicator, I generally like to wait a week or two before I get in. And this is in order to give retail traders enough time to read the Barron story and then go on stock twits and the other message boards, boards and to uh, try to scare each other out of the stock. 
So even if you bought the stock at 6260, you did quite well. Uh, especially I would use probably a 10% stop on this and the stock maybe only sold off seven or eight percent so you would have been fine. Um, and then a couple weeks later you could have sold your stock right here when it closed above the middle Bollinger Band. And that's a gain of uh, turns out to be 16% in just a few weeks. Um, or you could have so you could have entered right on September 14th or you could have waited a week or so and got a much better entry but either way you made you made quite good money on that. So again, to review the two uh, the two rules we, the two rules we want to follow um, when seeing if a stock is uh, is oversold and we can buy it for a bounce is uh, stock needs to be oversold according to the Bollinger Bands and the trader cement sentiment surrounding the stock has to be very bearish as shown in this case by Barron's cover. Uh, in this case, the result was a great trade as you can see. Um, as part of my um, as part of my trading plan, I like to keep an eye on Barron's. Uh, uh, Barron's covers every Saturday morning. It's always a pretty interesting source of trading ideas. Anyway, I hope you guys have found this video helpful. Uh, as you might guess, I've only scratched the surface of this trading strategy, and there's a lot of money to be made here. So if you'd like to learn more, uh, you can read the book that I wrote about, uh, about how to make money trading bouncing stocks like Alibaba and Facebook. Now to get this free book, just click on the big link that's on your screen now, and you'll be taken to a page where you can put in your email and uh, drop in your email and I'll immediately send you my book, which is called Rubber Band Stocks at no charge to you. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, Trader University, by clicking the big subscribe button. And I'll be making more of these videos, at least one every week. Uh, and if you subscribe, you'll be the first to know about uh, whenever a new video is out and you won't have to worry about ever missing out on one of my uh, profitable trading strategies. If you have any comments, any questions, please drop them in the comment box below. And also, if there's a topic that you'd like me to cover in a future video, let me know in the comments. At any event, hope you've enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.